Our third speaker is speaking from an advanced manual. So for our guests and our members, when you join Toastmasters as a manual you get, you complete those first 10 speeches, you become a competent communicator. Then you get other manuals that you get lifelong learning in Toastmasters. Keep going on and on and on, you're never quite done. Tammy Cole is working on an advanced manual called Interpretive Reading. She's giving tonight speech number four in that manual, The Play. Because it's, advanced, it's an advanced speech, it's a longer speech. This is 12 to 15 minutes. And please welcome Prisoner of Second Avenue by Tammy Cole. You? Doesn't Mildred come today? No, no, no. Tuesdays and Fridays. Well, what made this mess? We've been robbed. Robbed? What do you mean, robbed? What do I mean? We've been robbed. We've been robbed. They came in, they took our stuff. We've been robbed. I don't understand. What do you mean, robbed? We've been robbed. They didn't schedule an appointment to come in. They just took the stuff. We've been robbed. All right, all right, calm down. <coughs> Got a simple question here. What happened? What did they take? I don't know. I was out shopping. I was gone for five minutes. When I came back, it looked like this. You couldn't have been out shopping for five minutes. Five minutes. That's all. I was gone. Five minutes, eh? Well, then we better call the FBI, because every crook in Houston must have been in here. Well, that's who did it. That's who did it. I was only gone for five minutes. When you came back to the building, did you see anyone suspicious? Everyone is suspicious in this complex. Did you notice anybody carrying any packages, any bundles? No, no, I didn't notice. What do you mean you didn't notice? I don't go around looking for people carting off my TV set. They took the TV. They took our brand new 52 inch big screen color TV. They're not looking for a 22 inch black and white. It was here, now it's gone. We've been robbed. All right, all right, sit down. Let me get you a drink. Let me get you some tequila. I don't want tequila. A little tequila will calm you down. I don't want tequila. They took it. It's gone. 
All of it? Yes, all of it. The Patron? Yes, they're going to steal us, steal all of the cheap stuff and leave your Patron. <laughs> no, they took it all. All right, all right, calm down. You're hysterical. I'm not hysterical. You are hysterical. I'm only hysterical because you're making me hysterical. My house has just been robbed. What do you think I am? A boarder? My television is gone. My Patron is gone. I've been robbed too. You didn't walk in and find it. What difference does it make? Who found it? We still have nothing to drink. We still have nothing to watch. Don't yell at me. I'm very excited. I'm very upset about this, just as you are. Okay, I'm sorry. I am very sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you. Let's go get a volume. I don't want a volume. Why are you so stubborn? I don't want a volume because they took it all. They took the pills. They took the entire medicine cabinet. They took the Valium, they took your little funny pills, they took the razor blades, they took the shaving cream. They did leave your toothbrush, so if you want to go brush your teeth, you can still do that. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I just wish they'd get in a car that they stole, drive down the road, hit a tree, uh, tumble over, burn up and die. Those sons of bitches. <laughs> about this all the time, but when it happens to you, you don't believe it. The television I can understand, the liquor I can understand, but the shaving cream, the razor blades, what are they going to get for a roll of dental floss? They, they must have been desperate. They took everything. They even took my kitchen money. What kitchen money? The $85 in cash I had in this book. Why did you put your cash in the book? Where else was I going to put it? How about a jar? How about the sugar? Nobody looks in the sugar. They took the medicine cabinet. What makes you think they're not taking the sugar? Nobody looks at the sugar. It's all right, it's all right, as long as you weren't hurt. Can you imagine what would happen to me if I'd walked in on them? What would I have done, Mel? You were very lucky. Very, very lucky. But what was it what I've done? But you were you weren't here. You didn't walk in them. But suppose I did, what would I have done? You'd say, excuse me, and close the door. What do you think? Would you sit down and watch them? It didn't happen. Why are you asking such stupid questions? It almost happened. If I had walked in five minutes earlier, you couldn't have been five minutes. It took Mayflower two days to move everything in. It takes three junkies five minutes to get it all out. Seven minutes, eight minutes, what's the difference? The lock isn't broken. It's not even Jimmy. How'd they get in here? Maybe they found my key that I lost on the street. What do you mean? Found your key. Don't you have a key? No, 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 no. I lost it. I thought it was somewhere in the house, but maybe I lost it on the street. What were you planning on doing when you left the house? I left the door open. You left the door open? I didn't have a key. What was I supposed to do? So you left the door open. A city with one of the highest crime rates in the world and you left the door open? I was only gone for five minutes. Take the furniture with me? How did they know that my door was the door that was open? They 
know. They know. Door open, third floor, 88th Street and 2nd Avenue. It gets all over the junky world. They know. They don't know. They have to go around trying doors. So what do you think? They were going around trying doors. Hey, fellas, don't do 310. It looks like a nice door. If they're going to go around trying doors, they have 23 hours and 55 minutes to try every door. How did I know they were going to try our door the five minutes I was gone? I gambled. I lost. What kind of gamble is that? The door is open. They take everything. The door is closed. Someone else gets robbed. <clears throat> I had to shop. We had no food in this house, and I had to shop. So why didn't you go shopping at one of those places that delivers? Well, dear, because of the conversation we had the other night, I was a little worried, so I went to a place that doesn't deliver. They were a little bit cheaper, but can you see all the money I saved? <laughs>